Welcome to the presentation of our work Local Bins, Improving Depth Estimation by Learning Local Distributions. In this work, we propose a new state-of-the-art architecture for single image depth estimation. Our model is based on the AdaptoBins framework proposed in a previous work called AdaBins. They noted that the distribution of the depth values vary extremely from one scene to another, making depth estimation an even harder problem. To tackle this problem, AdaBins divides the continuous depth interval into discrete bins and lets the bin centers vary from image to image. During training, the distribution of the bin centers is made to match the distribution of the depth values in the input scene using chamfer distance. AdaBins uses a combination of a convolutional unit and a small transformer. The output depth at a pixel is computed by taking the linear combination of the probabilities at that pixel and the bin centers for that image. The linear combination gets around the discretization and we end up back with a continuous prediction. Our proposed design is a natural extension of this framework. We let bin centers vary not only from image to image as in ADA bins, but also from pixel to pixel. Bin centers at each pixel can encode the distribution of the depth values in its local neighborhood. Our architecture consists of a unit along with our proposed local bins module, composed of only 1x1 one one convolutional layers, that predicts the bin centers at each pixel. First, features at each pixel are projected to a common space that we name as bin embedding space. Then the bin embeddings at the bottleneck are used to predict the seed bin centers using an MLP. For the subsequent decoder layers, we use the bin splitter MLPs that split each bin into two new bins. Therefore, the number of bins double at each decoder layer. Finally, the predicted depth at a pixel is computed by taking a linear combination of the probabilities at that pixel and the bin centers from the final layer. However, training such an architecture is not trivial. The bin centers need a distribution of depth for supervision, but what size of the neighborhood should the bin centers at each pixel capture? And even if we fix a size, computing chamfer loss at hundreds of thousands of pixels per image is not computationally feasible. To solve these issues, we propose a novel training scheme called as query response training. At training time, we query the model with a randomly generated bounding box. We then use ROI align operation of the object detection frame to project and pull the features from all the decoder layers of the unit. The pooled features are then fed to the local bins module and the resulting bin centers are matched with the distribution of the depth values within that input bounding box. We now share some results. Our model achieves state-of-the-art performance with significant improvements over previous methods. Thanks to the query response training, the model chooses to select the neighborhood size adaptively according to the context. Please refer to our paper for more details. Thank you so much for your time.